Good morning everyone, how are we all today? It's currently 7.07 in the morning and today is Friday. You're probably thinking, Santana, why are you filming so late on a Friday because you're uploaded on Sunday and you're like gonna stress yourself out because you're gonna have to edit this video all in one day. Like I'm very self aware. However, breaking news, if you couldn't tell by the title, duh. a job Yay! I would be more excited but it's literally 10 past 7 in the morning and I am tired so yeah I thought I'd bring you along on my little like that shift yeah that's all I have to say it's like my little like introduction I'm guessing to see how everything works I am a little nervous just purely because I don't know anyone whereas before I knew people and now I don't and also the lights really bright I'm just like I'm just gonna like do this yeah so I'm gonna stay like this for a little bit I'm just like quite nervous just because I don't know anyone but I also don't know what I'm going to wear and I should have planned my outfit at last night and I said to myself oh my god yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna plan my outfit it's gonna be really great and really talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same totally unique completely not ever been done before to reference or not reference put it in a blender shit on it bomb it on it I did not do that I fell asleep at 11 o'clock and I've woken up at 7 and I'm still tired so yeah that's all I have to say on that I'm just going to like rest for a little bit and probably fall back to sleep I'll pop back to you in the next clip. Hi. So, um, I'm very, very aware that I should be getting ready, but Miss Olivia dropped her greatly anticipated album, Sour. And you know, I was like, okay, what can Miss Girl have to offer? Because you know, I'm a very heavy music lister, and as you guys know, my queen, Ariana in the back, is my girl, my hometown, my safe space. I'm literally up her ass. Miss Olivia, bitch, you did that. She's never gonna see this, but you actually did that. I'm ready Ready to go get in a relationship to break up with someone like that's the vibes like I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven when I woke I spit that on a necklace Hi! You're in my wardrobe. Um, I was gonna put you in my wardrobe, but for some reason, the camera keeps going out of focus, so Canon G7X, you better watch your back, sis. Anyway, I have no idea what to wear. I haven't had a first day in about nearly two years, um, and I've not got a top on, that's why you, you're really up close and personal. And I'm like, kinda nervous. So what do I wear? Because like, I don't wanna wear a- I was just about to tell you where I work. Ah! I can't do that. I'm not gonna have to wear a branded top to the workplace. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be that person that's gonna look a bit oh, What the hell do you wear? Honestly, like, what do you wear? I'm literally like this. I'm so nervous. Please don't. Honestly, I'm thinking about we're just wearing a hoodie and calling it a day. Like I was gonna wear a pair of dickies, but the only thing is I can't have a brand logo on them if it's not the company. Oh, what jeans are these? I've not seen these before. Oof, back to the days when I was skinny. That's why I've not seen them since. I'm gonna come back, okay. Okay, so ignore my dirty mirror. I know, kind of on brand for me, but I think I finally found something that's like, okay. I got this t-shirt, this, this is, well, this is the outfit, this is the overview, period. This t-shirt is from ASOS, these jeans are from ASOS, and my shoes are Nike Air Force Ones. And because I've got white on the bottom, I don't know if I want to wear a white jacket. This, this on top, I don't want to overdo it for a fast day, so I think I'm gonna play it safe and wear this. This is all you get. This is the best of both worlds. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna Oh my god, I have to be there in an hour. <gasps> um enjoy some traveling montage and I'll let you know what my day was like when I'm back home. Hi guys, I've just come back from where now, I've just got in. It's currently, it's currently 25 past three. Let me tell you about my first day. Um, I'm not gonna tell you where I work at. Well, I was gonna show you what I got, but then I also realized that it kind of gives away where I work, so like, and I don't want that. Yeah, my first day. The first two hours, I did a wonderful health and safety. It was boring, but it was important. And we live to see I guess. Number two, I also went around and learned about the stuff that this shop sells. I have to be really careful how I word it. And I am very overwhelmed. 
obviously, but you know, it's, it was my first day and you know, you don't really know what you're gonna expect. Obviously with the thing, you have to try on, with the clothing story worker, you have to try on clothes. And because I'm a plus size goddess, okay, the store that I work at doesn't carry the plus size collection. So you go, had a little mental breakdown in the changing rooms, uh, but that's okay, I guess. And I'm home now and I realized that, and I was trying on different pairs of jeans in the same size. I found one pair that did fit me, but I realized that no jean in the same store is the same size. And what bothers me now is that nothing's true to size and it's making people that, you know, trigger warning if you have body dysmorphia, but it's people like me who do have body dysmorphia and, you know, they don't like shopping for themselves, it makes you feel bad because it's like, I know I'm still the same size I was like three weeks ago and I'm not like two sizes bigger even though the label tells me to. And I've come to realize that, you know, you need to find the love from within. Like, it doesn't matter what the clothing size says. If you feel like you're at your best, you live your best life so it's like I know and I'm working on myself you know as I do a workout like every single day other than the weekends and have the weekends off and this week I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be honest I have been a little bit lazy and I've only worked out three times this week um and I'll probably work out on Sunday or because I have work again tomorrow but me being upset about a clothing size like there's bigger issues going on in the world right now which leads me to my next point is that I will have links and stuff in the description to help support Palestine and everything that's going on there I can't even imagine <laughs> I can't even comprehend how everyone there's feeling so I will have support and stuff and everything in the description to help them um, Please sign them if you can and if you're old enough and then if you also can please donate money because they're getting bomb would And I'm allowed to say that because I will get flagged and my channel will probably get deleted But yeah, um, so I've just come home now and I have some wonderful clothes Yeah, all in all it's been an okay day First day back I was like I said I was a bit anxious just because I don't know anyone But I got to know uh, four or five people there and they were really really sweet and yeah yeah, I'm going to go and I'll pop back in late with you to let you know if I do anything else. Hi everyone, it's a little bit later on. Uh, I've got some work things to do. So if I time lapse me doing some work. Uh, uh, uh. 